because we have selected so many features, right? So that's why it, right, yeah. it is going to take uh, some time. But even then, your your machine is uh, very fast. <laughs> Basically, in our machines, you know, in our office machines, it will be so you know um, yeah. dumbed up with so many software, right? So that will it will be so, you know somewhat slow. Right. So is it done? Yes, it's done. Yeah, it is, it is, it is done. So, can you just close it up now? Close this window and uh, okay, go back to this one sec. Let me just maximize this window now. Now, can you go? Can you can you go, go back to the same position where we were there? To the same position where. Which? I mean, just scroll this page down. Okay. Can you see this? So we have we have you know uh, we have executed this command in command prompt, right? And can you just go right, down? Right. Yeah. Go down. Can you see here? We have done this, right? We have gone to this. Yeah, we did all that. Right. We are, you know in this in this right. anyways, in this page it will just say that you know uh, it will just say to enable only some features. But it is always better to uh, you know, enable all features if your server is so good, fine. But if your okay. server is, you know, if you have got some, you know, uh, I can say some facilities in that server, so it's always better to just, you know, enable some some things. So you can follow this window right. if, if there is only some features. Okay, let's go down. Okay, go down, go down now. So let us see what is uh, ah, now. So we are done with everything. Can you see the tenth point now again? Yeah, we start. We did restart already. Exactly. So because again we have installed something new, right? IS. So in order to make your uh, thing uh, work, just you have to re uh, restart this again. Can you just restart once? Okay. Fine. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, you know the servers. Can you just expand again the sites? Expand the sites. Now can you see here your SharePoint sites are created here, right? So this is what right, done yeah. when you install something. Now uh, let us go back and open your uh, site uh, which we were trying to open. Uh, for that, can you just go to Start? Click on Start and All Programs. 
now uh, go to the folder called microsoft sharepoint 2010 scroll down scroll down you have to go to folder yeah go down go down down yeah you can see here it's microsoft sharepoint at yeah sharepoint products microsoft sharepoint no, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah okay right click on that now can you see here says central administration i was talking about this right. session. yeah click on that so can you see yeah click on okay so in is uh, let us see where it loads so now okay it is not still not loading okay let's go back to is again is in the sense the server the previous window yeah that one now here uh, can you see there is a site called sharepoint central administration here yeah this is our site yeah click on that okay so this is our server so it seems our server is not opening because of authentication problem so in middle screen can you just open authentication under is tab yeah double click on that okay now can you just click on uh, right click on basic authentication and enable it right okay now uh, close this window so it means we have you uh, know enabled some authentication for this now we have to restart our server how to restart our server go to run again type in something called is iis restart I no no I I S double I S uh, reset R E S E T yeah click on enter. Okay. click on okay yeah enter so now it's done your restart is done can you just go open your uh, I S again how to open go to run and click on I net manager right go to run or or you have a shortcut of run uh, truti a uh, shortcut of run is nothing but uh, there is a windows key in your keyboard right windows key i mean yeah. uh, press on windows and and parallelly press on r okay together yeah so this is your uh, okay. windows yeah. r fine so here uh, just on drop down you can see again inet manager click on drop down inet manager go to i yeah yeah you can see init manager click on okay now uh, your server is being restarted now let's go back to administration again just close this ie page internet explorer page not okay fine not a problem okay close this page yeah now again go to start you know go back to your uh, microsoft sharepoint folder and open your uh, administration perfect okay yeah can you just give your uh, username and password of your machine yeah uh, god that my husband's got that um, uh, okay can i set up my own or uh, i think you have to because you have to give the same admin name uh, you have you have your own okay. login here do you have your lo lo login here no we just set up a okay okay uh, let, let's do one okay. thing let's create a user here uh, cancel it because uh, okay uh, can you just go to control panel start control panel let us see what happens here yeah. go to users yeah, i mean user accounts the uh, in the last but one row third option i mean third third option the, here this way, this one i mean in the last row i mean uh, vertical last row here you just go to u option u u there is only one u here this one okay you just on here yeah right. click on that okay uh, uh click on manage manage another account yeah 
you have it here yeah now okay now click on here you have something called create new account yeah okay now go uh, yeah uh, account name give it as admin some name admin let us give as admin okay uh, click on administrator okay and click on create account okay now okay uh, just select your admin again yeah admin again okay now click on create password create a password okay create uh, admin password again uh, make it as admin again just admin admin and confirm new password is again admin okay now uh, say create password <coughs> No, you don't need that. Yeah, click on create password now. Fine, your admin is created. Now go back and open central administration again. Let us see whether it opens or not. <coughs> Close all these things. Don't this anymore. Close this up. Uh, just open your uh, SharePoint or its central administration. Yeah. Yeah, type in admin and admin. Check, click. I remember my credentials. Yeah, yeah. You oh. can, you can remember. Yeah, click on that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyways, it's a personal piece, right? So. I'm sorry, we have done so many things, right? To work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fine. Yay, Perfect. thank God. <laughs> ha, so, finally, uh, your SharePoint is done. Installation is done. Yeah. It's, it's, it's much clearer, actually, you know. Because we are getting some sort of, you know, errors in my SharePoint. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's okay. very good in here. So, this is how we, you know, set up our SharePoint. Fine. Okay. So finally, your SharePoint is done now. Uh, anyway, so now I can just play around with exactly, yeah, yeah. Just then. play around everything, creating a site, creating list, creating right. Just go through the videos, right? Okay. Right? Okay. Fine. Yeah. So, uh, so I think you know. Uh, <laughs> now, even I'm happy actually. You know, <laughs> setup is done. Now. Yeah, I know. Right? Okay. Fine. So, uh, so until you learn this, uh, you know, uh, SharePoint, just keep. You can keep this admin user as it is. Okay. Uh, you know, okay, so, that right. so that you can use this admin, okay? Fine. Okay, no problem. Okay, oh, and yeah. all those other items, my desktop, I can remove them, right? You can delete all the, the settings. Yeah. Exactly. De remove okay. each and everything. Remove each and everything. No, we don't need okay. them. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so no and uh, do one thing. Uh, if you're getting any issue, you will never get any issue now because your IIS will be whenever you restart your PC, your I IIS will start, right? and okay. whenever you, uh, you whenever you feel that there is something you know uh, disturbance disturbance is happening always do is reset right you know what is reset okay yes. yeah From because run, right. exactly yeah. because that will reset your uh, is and again it will load your uh, sharepoint perfectly fine okay no okay problem. so now it's done now so better try you know try if you are doing something in sharepoint better keep your internet explorer as uh, as a you know default because default you know, exactly because your uh, default should be under you know uh, Microsoft recommends you know uh, IE for SharePoint. Okay. Right. Okay. Fine. Okay. okay then uh, Ruthi, I that. hope yeah you can just try out some examples in here right and uh, we'll resume class tomorrow so that you know from tomorrow you can uh, take up the class fine. Okay. No problem. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank okay. you so much okay. for your time. Okay. No problem. Fine. Bye. Alright then. Thanks. Good night. Good Bye. Night. Bye.